So in our previous class, we have derived the distance between two points formulae and we did a small example. Now we will go to the concept of collinearity. We have a small problem here, we will solve it. So first I will explain you the concept of collinearity. A set of points are said to be collinear if and only if they lie on the same straight line. For example, let us take three points. A, B, C. These three points are collinear if and only if they lie on the same straight line. You can see A, B, C lie on the same straight line. The important condition for collinearity is if they lie on the same straight line then A, B plus B, C should be equal to A, C. That is the distance between the two points A and B plus the distance between the two points B and C should be equal to the distance between the two points A and C. So, we will apply the same concept here. Let us take this 2, 4 as A and this 4, 6 as B and 8, 10 as C. What is the distance between two points formulae? The distance between two points formulae is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So, first let us find out the distance AB. We know that the point A is 2 comma 4 and point B is 4 comma 6. Let us take this point as x2 comma y2, I mean B. Let us take the point A as x1 comma y1. So, we will apply this formula here to calculate the distance between A and B. So, this will be equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square, 4 minus 2 whole square plus 6 minus 4 whole square. What I did? y2 minus y1 whole square. So, this will be equal to square root of 4 minus 2 whole square is 2 square and 6 minus 4 whole square is 2 square. So, this will be 4 plus 4. This will be equal to square root of 8. So, this 8 can be written as 2 square into 2. So, this will be equal to 2 square into 2 which is equal to 2 root 2. So, finally, I got AB as 2 root 2. Next, we will find the distance between B and C. What are the points B is 4 comma 6 and C is 8 comma 10. So, this I will take x1 y1 4 and 6 and this 8 and 10 I will take x2 y2. So, I will apply the same formula here square root of x2 minus x1 whole square that is 8 minus 4 whole square plus 10 minus 6 whole square. So, this will be equal to 16 plus 16. How? 8 minus 4 is 4 square that is 16. 10 minus 6 is 4 square that is 16. So, this will be 16 plus 16 which is equal to square root of 32. Now, this 32 can be written as 4 square into 2 which will be equal to 4 root 2. So, BC is equal to 4 root 2. Now, I will try to find out CA or AC. So, A is 2 comma 4 and C is 8 comma 10. So, this will be x1 y1 and this C will be x2 y2. So, AC will be square root of 
8 minus 2 whole square that is x2 minus x1 whole square and plus this 10 minus 4 whole square that is y2 minus y1 whole square. So, this will be square root of 8 minus 2 is 6 and 6 square will have here 10 minus 4 is 6 and we'll have 6 square here. So, it will be 36 plus 36 which is equal to root 72. Now, this root 72 can be written as 6 square into 2 which will be equal to 6 root 2. The 6 will be coming outside. So, I will say AC as 6 root 2. We got the values of AB, we got the values of BC, we got the values of AC. After getting these values, if you want to check whether these points are collinear or not. If these points are collinear, that is if they lie on the same straight line, then they should satisfy this condition AB plus BC is equal to AC. So, what is AB value? 2 root 2 plus what is BC value? 4 root 2. And what is AC value? It is 6 root 2. So, we got here 4 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 6 root 2 which is equal to 6 root 2. So, we got here 4 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 6 root 2 which is equal to 6 root 2. So, I can say that 2, 4, 4, 6, 8, 10 are collinear that is they lie on the same straight line. This is the concept of collinearity. Thank you. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.